Hey guys, welcome to TSL. So, sorry that I haven't posted more. Been crazy busy, grad school, bunch of projects at work. I'm also afraid to just say, hey, I'll post every week and not keep that promise. But I guess I'm gonna try to do that. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming up this summer in our youth ministry, and I thought it would be cool to post like a summer vlog series. So I'm thinking about vlogging at a lot of our summer events, crazy slip and slide days, um, some of our trips and day trips and things like that. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna start today because we're going to Disneyland for two days, tonight and all day tomorrow. Waiting for students to get here to go to Disneyland. You know, I wonder as youth pastors, how much of our life is spent waiting for students or waiting for students to get picked up? I would think that by the time I retire from ministry, I probably spent a year of my life, okay, let me get dramatic, 10 months of my life waiting on students. Okay, so we're not, we aren't just going to Disneyland today. Uh, we also are coming back to a two hour parking lot fundraiser at the same time that our first Disneyland day is. And like any other good church, we're also prepping for VBS with our summer interns for VBS next week, which is of course Cave Quest, which any self-respecting good church is doing groups top of the line. Summer VBS. So it's a busy couple of days. Students are here. And by students, I mean Lauren. Hi. And uh... <laughs> Well, I mean, technically we're all students, right? I, can I charge my phone in the van? Yeah, do you have your charger? See, students are running, already wanting to get on their phones. You know, this is a device. No, devi because mine's like almost dead and I have to text my dad. My dad okay, this is a device-free Disneyland day. <laughs> yeah. You know that, right? Device-free. Yeah. No pictures? Okay, airplane mode. Airplane mode Disneyland device-free day. No. No Mickey Mouse ears? Not one of those people. <laughs> all right, I guess. Some have Mickey Mouse ears and some don't. Okay, we're finally off to Disneyland. Um, I don't even have to drive with our summer interns. It's pretty sweet. Madeline over there. Eva, the bus driver lady. Um, I, think I think this is like one third of our group, right? It's like two thirds. Two thirds of the group are either meeting us there or coming later. Oh, Sebastian! We can't, we gotta go pick him up. Oh, he doesn't look. Okay. Yeah, so. they didn't forget. Like he forgot MJ last time. And we're picking one. We're picking up one more of our students. Wait, hey. do, wait, do that again. <laughs> Sebastian, what's up? Come on in. Never. Okay. That's why I love our youth group. So eighth grader, twenty-year-old playing Never Have I Ever. <laughs> That's awesome. What, what do you guys go? Very secure here at Disneyland. Everyone getting checked, safety and security reasons. Did you guys all get through okay? Yep. How many selfie sticks did they take away? What? How many selfie sticks did you guys lose? Approximately 14. 14 selfie sticks taken away. I got a group just two. 11 of them. <laughs> He's trying to smuggle them in so he can sell them to everybody else who got their selfie sticks taken away. I have. Hi, good. I've never done this before. I have his ticket on my app with my pass. Okay, so I'm gonna, and then here's the button for you, let's go over here. Yeah, just go ahead and write your first name. I mean together. Okay, that was fun. So, they're at this plan and we're leaving to go back to church. Yay. Yeah, okay. I got a button. And we are, are going back, but we're gonna do some reconnaissance. I wanna go to Starbucks and see, mean? we're gonna go to Starbucks and see if they have nitro cold brew yet. Oh. <laughs> if you watch my videos or you watch my podcast, you know that our church has nitro cold brew before Starbucks. <laughs> So we're gonna go see if they have it yet. If any place has it, it's the downtown Disney location. Okay, they didn't have they didn't have nitro cold brew. They didn't even have cold brew. So they were sad. out. See, I guess I'm worried because I feel like when they get nitro cold brew, the demise of our nitro cold brew is not gonna be near as cool. Like, no, it's, like, it's still gonna be cool. No, it's gonna be the same thing when I got my Android smartwatch. Like, no one heard of smartwatches. Then Apple smartwatches came out, and everyone thought that Android smartwatches copied Apple Watch. So they're gonna see our nitro cobra at church and be like, oh, just like Starbucks. We just need to make it known that we have it now. All right, all right, we'll get on that. Okay. So here we are now back at church selling our nitro cold brew coffee that I just talked about. 
for graduation, students graduating at the high school across the street. So I did get to go to Disneyland today for about two minutes. Uh, we're heading back after this is done, which is about a two hour long fundraiser where we sell parking lot spaces and concessions for uh, scholarships for students and for some leadership development here at our church. So this, then back to Disneyland. Are you serving beer joke number one? Beer joke number two and three. Okay, after that time lapse, I was going to count how many people made comments uh, about beer in our cold brew, and it was literally too many to count. Like the vast majority of people. And I know I just talked about this, but it's, I think they maybe they call it the apple effect when like a smaller company uh, does something but no one notices it until Apple does it. And because Starbucks is launching nitro cold brew on tap this summer, um, next year we do this, I promise you, people will walk by and say, hey look, that's uh, that thing that Starbucks has. And uh, we had it before, which is fine. Not like we invented it, but I'm just saying there'll be no beer comments next summer. Okay, and rant. Okay, we are finally back at Disneyland, <laughs> 7.30. I think our first trip started at two. Yep. Then we had our fundraiser. Um, just parked the closest I've ever parked at Disneyland ever. You can see <laughs> our van back there. VIP status here. Um, now we're gonna meet up with one of our interns and then meet up with the students. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we're waiting for students again. <laughs> you just stuck out your camera. <laughs> uh, not that waiting for students is bad, but just taking notes. Um, another minute of my life waiting for students, but I love it. It's okay. Hi. What's up? Wait, we're missing one. Do it. Let's do it. Did you bring my money? I have it. I don't have your money. Just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Tower of Terror, which is the one of the coolest themed rides for sure in California Adventure. Yeah. But did you know they're getting rid of? They're already getting rid of it. Why? They're putting in a Guardians of Galaxy ride. How do you feel about that? Yes! <laughs> like how could this be Guardians this of Galaxy? This they make everything work. They're not tearing it down though, they're like remaking it look like Guardians of Galaxy. You never know yeah. what they can do. It doesn't even take place, it takes place in space on like 18 different planets. Wait, what are we talking about? They're turning this into a Guardians of Galaxy ride. No stop. Where Captain America is caught saying Kale Hydra. And I was like, uh uh, betrayal, betrayal. Okay, we've already been in Disneyland for only 15 minutes. We're already arguing Team Cap or Team. Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man. No, Close. Iron Man. Spider Man doesn't count. Spider Man is on, on Cap Team, right? No, Spider Man's Iron Man. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Team Captain America or Team or Team Iron Man? Um, because those are the only choices that I have. Currently. Someone threw in Spider Man, but they don't know that Spider Man's on Iron Man Team, so. Okay, well, I have to go with the Spider Man. Team Spider-Man. So Team Iron Man. I don't know. Team Iron Man. We can have we can have a third a third. What do you call it when someone else comes on? Yeah, they're making up Team Spider-Man. Yeah, he's Team Spider-Man. Yeah. They want to vote Spider-Man as a separate candidate. You said hi to a stranger. No. Don't you know you're not supposed to talk to strangers? Oh my gosh! Wait. Well, the giraffe thing the guy walked up. No, right now because I was like a whole group of kids came and I said hi to them because they're my friends. Like, oh, yeah. you recognize them? Yes! Okay, now we're going on my favorite ride. Yes, I love Literally in really? all of Disneyland. In all of Disneyland? Like the whole well, resort? Now that it's themed flying, for sure. I used to like it, it when it was called. Flying. No, it was Mulholland Madness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a long time ago, though. Well, I mean, in your world, it was like four, I mean, this was four years ago, probably. Uh, four or five. I wasn't around. Now we're going on. You remember my four years ago? <laughs> Goofy's Flying School. <laughs> How old are you? I just did flying school. I've never been on it. You've never been on it? Oh my god. No, I'm excited. <laughs> Everyone needs to see Garrett smile right now. <laughs> All right, Sebastian, tell us how you ended summer last year. So, my mom and I were recycling for this moment. And we had enough money to visit Disneyland and California Adventures. So on the last day of summer, we ended it by watching the World of Color. Okay. And then, right now, 
Guess what we're doing? You have no idea. This it's the first day of summer, you gotta yeah, say that first. Yeah, first day of summer, exactly. And I just ended school today. That's right, that's right. It's just crazy. And I just saw the world of gold, oh my gosh. So All right, like Sebastian, what did you just learn about Disneyland? Um, that you can't bring selfie sticks. Right, you can't bring selfie sticks. And why do you think that is? Because they think you're gonna take it out like a sword, <laughs> use it like a machete, and stab people with it even though it does not have any sharp points. You're gonna be like, oh, I'm imaginary and I'll stab everybody with this. Thomas and Lexi are my two favorite people who are supposed to be here but who aren't here yet. Thomas, you are so dapper and he's not dapper to you at Disneyland. I don't know if you got the, if you didn't know that. I got the memo, I was the only one. I sent it out actually. Thank you. These are what I call human herding corridors. When you herd humans using <laughs> using walls, it's a human herding corridor. And, and don't worry, they still have opportunities to buy stuff. <laughs> These herding corridors, which would be a good time to buy something, except what if they close off both sides and you're trapped in here? Okay, everyone's freaking out for my black burger. Especially Eva. We're gonna look. Black burger. Oh. We're gonna look at it. Yeah. Black. The bun is black. Why? Isn't that like not healthy? It looks oh, like it's made with squid ink, probably. Ew. Come on, that's, that's cool. Disgusting. Okay, so we have a debate. If that's if that's if Matterhorn is not the scariest ride in Disneyland, then, then what is? What are you afraid of? More that than the abominable like snowman. Oh, freaking looks like a dirty snake thing. That lavender snakes? teacup is too scary. I think that abominable snowman is scarier than a giant snake. His fine. eyes were red. I was here. Ah! Hi. <laughs> We're here at the beginning of Indiana Jones. I'm very excited today. Uh, we have our intern, Kayla. She's, <laughs> she's getting paid to be here. <laughs> oh we got our own car. Wait, can this actually fit? Goodbye, Disneyland. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.